gửi mùi lời chúa chát tình nồng hoa đắng cay lệ sầu quen khoe mắt mộng mơ buồn xa bay I hope that after I tell you many things today that you understand my difficulty, <laughs> real difficulty, not the difficulty of the guy from Canada, the one that he just expressed, that he has to change supervisor. Oh, what a pity. <laughs> not that guy. But I do have difficulty. Understand that? Yes. I trust that you understand from today so that you can be my friends, at least uh, support mentally, and that you don't make my job more difficult hmm? than it is. I truly have to fight all sides, yeah? and all the time. This is visible, physical, you can see. There's some vi- invisible, you don't see. They also trouble a lot. The negative power doesn't always come in the form of an assistant or a driver or the person who tried to kill me like that. But it comes also in the form of some insects, animals. Insects easily go in my room to trouble, and they bite me everywhere. Huh? Like, mm, you don't see it because I put some makeup on, but otherwise you can, can see it's red and it's uh, very itchy, itchy. Today I was panicky for some itching cream because I couldn't bear anymore. I kept scratching uh, because today it got worse. For example, like that, nah? the negative power doesn't always uh, manifest in the form of humans or in the form of your neighbor. Oh, my neighbor also. Oh, I love that guy. <laughs> oh. In the beginning, when I first bought the house, not this one. Wow, all the things they wrote about me in the newspaper. I could hardly recognize who are they talking about. It cannot be me, because nothing, nothing looks like me, nothing sounds like me. Does it sound anything like me there? You, did you read the newspaper around here? No. Oh, if you didn't, then don't bother. <laughs> I didn't even read it. She told me that they took a photo of a white person lying on the ground, right? And then what else? Uh, that was the only one, like a uh, bed sheet cover. On the bed sheet cover, lying on the ground. And then uh, they say we're sharing some little thing. It's like a secret uh, formula stuff, you know. And uh, I don't know. They say all kinds of things. That I frequent a private beach in Monaco. I go to nightclubs a lot. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And I stay in first-class hotels all the time. Wow. Wait until they see my real first-class cave. (laughs) It'll be a shock to their life. My neighbors, oh, you don't know. Before you came, there was B-Y. Before you? I had peace, no problem at all, yes. And um, after you, A-Y. Yeah. <laughs> B-Y was complete peace and quiet. Even in Monaco, they love me so much. Even the waiter and all the violets. We made jokes with each other all the time. But sometimes I came out, everybody opened and opened the door and did stupid things, you know, and then somebody kneel on the floor and say, hi, madame, the holy, whatever, yeah. They saw my aura. So we were having very much fun, but I didn't stay there long, of course. I told you already I rented the place, sometimes for internet and all that, because yeah? it's first class, very fast. And then sometimes they make jokes. They told me, the one valet told me about the other, madame, he has a tattoo, secret tattoo. But you can't see it. So I say, just tell me where. (laughs) I was joking with them, you know, tell me where. He said, oh, I don't dare. I said, never mind, try me. He said, it's behind, on the bottom. I said, oh, that's nothing. (laughs) And then they were teasing each other. I say, put the shirt up so she can see. And he, he pretended, no, no, <laughs> and they were doing this kind of thing to me. I said, oh, never mind, look at mine, you know. I was just joking, I had nothing, of course, but I lifted my trousers a little bit and everybody was laughing just like this, you know. I said, okay, i show you an example. Uh, and everybody was laughing. And the manager saw what was going on. She came out and said, what's going on over here? <laughs>
I said, nothing, ma'am. They are trying to cheat me. <laughs> I'm a lone woman, and all of these men, you know, they're trying to harass me. We're just joking, and then we all laugh. All the time, like this, similar situation, huh? And when I left the hotel, they bought me flowers and gifts. The, the, the workers, the, the valets and the bell boys and all that, and they stood in two lines to save me off. Such a beautiful hotel. Wonderful. I really like it very much. I don't stay there often, you know that, yeah? And I really don't like hotels. It's very cold. But that's the best already. That's why if I have to go, I go there. Because they're so funny, <laughs> these people. <laughs> very funny, you know? <laughs> Trying to show the tattoo which didn't exist. So I also say, I got one. <laughs> I didn't have, of course. Just to make fun, you know? And they, they like it so much. So when I came home one time from, from the president's uh, funeral, Slovenia president's funeral, I was exhausted and feeling like choked in the neck or being in the coffin. And I came to the hotel because I couldn't stay at home. I felt like I was in the coffin all the time. It was so scary. I went there because some of my assistants said, OK, maybe you go out a little bit of this house and you feel better. I had nowhere else to go, so I went there for a few days. Immediately I came and I told him, I'm very tired, I don't know what to do, give me a room, any room. And immediately one told the other, go buy this, go buy that for her. She, she's tired, she, she will drink this, she will drink, drink that. You know, like they, the things that they knew, you know, these simple people. I said, go buy that vein, you know, like one of those, like calming tea. Yeah, so touching. That's all they knew. Well, oh, go buy this for her. Make it now. <laughs> and they told each other to do it. They were not even waiters. It was just a bellboy who brought my luggage. But when they saw me slum on the sofa, they said, go by that way. And uh, tell somebody to come massage her. So I said, no, 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 thank you. No. That way, okay, massage, no. <laughs> <laughs> they had a handsome boy with uh, six packs. <laughs> <laughs> Mus- <laughs> with the... Uh, folding table, you know, boom, and then you lay there and they make you feel like a queen, but I say, that they okay, massage, no. <laughs> because I knew I saw them, you know, I saw the boys. And <laughs> anyway, th- that's how kind they are, you know, these uh, simple working people. Mm. Uh, I like them a lot, but I think many of them are retired now. There was one Indian guy also. He was very polite when he dropped me around, very polite. So good, so good. Mm. Why do I tell you these things? <laughs> before you, after you. Ah, yeah, before you. Yeah. So, B.Y. was like that, okay? <laughs> Neighbor was also very polite, very nice, very friendly. And A.Y. was like, you know, the newspapers, the neighbors, the police, the helicopter, the gun to the head, the body, the search, the house, search, all kinds of things. Search everywhere I went, even not just one house. They just follow me everywhere, even rent or apartment, anything. It was really a scary time. Not just one time search, huh? but repeatedly. And every time, like 40 police or at least uh, 12, a dozen men. Well, okay. But why did I say that? <laughs> what was it before? Your neighbor. Ah, the neighbor. Okay. So now, the neighbor, he, after that, Away time, he came to, always looking around and, and checking on us and reporting to the police all the time. The police kept coming all the time. I just had few disciples come visit. You Not really visit, but doing some videos. Yeah? I didn't have a team at that time, so some of them came from L.A. to do the poetry, the Vietnamese poetry that I recited. I did it uh, nearby here in the house. And what happened? Oh, the police came. Every day, checking them down there and checking up there. They were legal, all legal. They, they came with the tourist visa. They can stay three months, so no problem. I'm Americans, uh, English, yeah, no problem. But because of that, oh my God, I was in the house. But because the police thought I was not there, so they didn't come in. They just checked them and checked everywhere else. They didn't check my room. And at night, because they had to go soon, no? I had to block all the windows with sleeping bags, stuffy like that. Doors, window, all the cracks have to have to block in order to because the neighbor reported it. That's why the police came, and they stayed outside even around the street, around the corner, you know, around the mountain. 
for her, at night I had to work with the reciting to finish so that they could go. And then we blocked all the windows with sleeping bags and with aluminum stuff so that the, the kind, this kind of light didn't come out. And I was sweating while I recited the Vietnamese poetry, some of it. You know, the one with the winter hat and winter in Paris and all that, that's the one. But did you see me look scared? I was scared. If I wasn't scared, I wouldn't block the window. I wouldn't stay in the house, you know, and didn't dare to go out, for example, like that, or because of the neighbor. And that was not enough. He continued. He continued to do that all the time. And then the thief also came and broke the door and tried to steal things or tried to find me to look for me. Because at that time, there was one disciple staying in my house. She had blonde hair like me. And I stayed in the upper level, she stayed in the lower level. And they came, broke into her house because they thought it was me. Use a knife and all that. Luckily, she wasn't. Mm, no, no, she was in the house. It was, she was in the room. Later she told me, no? And then suddenly the neighbor, the other neighbor, the nice neighbor, there was an Italian neighbor and a French neighbor. The French neighbor is the one causing all trouble all this time. Suddenly the nice neighbor was coming home from work. He came late, shining, a big light, and the thief or whoever wanted to kill us ran away. That's not only one time, huh? It kept repeating, so I couldn't stay in that house even after a while. And even after I left, the disciples stayed there still, and they called me, Oh, Master, somebody keeps coming and blah, 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 so scary. So I even had to move them all to the upper level into my house, to stay in my house. These people are still here, huh? not, in this, not in this assembly. but So I had to say, OK, OK. Take all your things and go up and stay in my room, in my house. Because there are two levels, you know, the mouth and there are two levels. One level upper and the street in the middle and the neighbor lives at the end of the street and the other neighbor lives below my land. And the disciples live on the lower level of the mountain, uh, the other side of the street. And I live on the upper. The lower is nicer. You can see the sea view fully. The upper level is more obscured obstructed, uh, but the, the main house is there, so I stayed there, and they stayed down there, different, a small studio. Uh, so they were so scared, they called me like that, so I had to say, never mind, I don't know, I'm not home, I can't have you, just move all of you, all of you move up, stay in my house. So they had to abandon their, their apartment, their small room, whatever, they went to my house and stayed while I was not there. That's as if not enough. Even the police sometimes came with a dark light, you know. They came and turned off the light, only a small light, and then went quietly alone, huh? And they tried to open the gate. And I don't know who sometimes broke the gate and sometimes broke the door. And then sometimes uh, burned my garden, yeah? Wanted to fill me out. All kinds of things happened, not just the neighbors. And as if not enough, he called the police all the time. <laughs> I think the police must have been fed up with him, <laughs> because because that mountain's very high. Some some small some small police cars cannot come in. They had to walk up. They must have been cursing him. <laughs> and later maybe he had reported for a lot more times. They didn't come. There was nothing there. What to to do? You keep walking up the mountain. You sweat like hell. Excuse me, my friend. <clears throat> So I don't know if police came or not. Maybe police didn't come anymore. They were tired to climb in the mountain, you know? <laughs> that, that mountain, if you have a normal car, you can't climb up. You have to have almost like, like four-wheel drive stuff, very strong power. Otherwise, it doesn't climb up because it's very stiff and very sharp curves. Stiff and sharp. And, and not one, eh? <laughs> so maybe the police were fed up, didn't come to check out anymore. After many times, they were scared. Yeah. They were also scared to climb the mountain. Sometimes they stay all night in front of my house. Scared everybody, and my, all my attendants were so scared. We couldn't even communicate by telephone because we worried that they hear us 
And then we couldn't take the dogs out because they stay right in front of the house where the street is. That's a private street. I have to take the dogs out. So we had to stay there and all the dogs had to hold it all night. Cho nhau cõi thiên đàng, cho nhau cõi thiên đàng, cho nhau cõi thiên đàng.